So what do you think? What do you think my friend Peach do in a situation like this? A situation like this. A situation like this. A situation like this. A situation like this. Is his guitar in a million pieces? Yes. So he's got all the electronics out of it. He's got uh, the body off, the necks off of it, everything. Yes. Was that a brand new guitar or was it used? It was brand new. Yeah. That beautiful tiger wood grain on the front. It was beautiful. And what does he want to do to it? He was talking about painting it orange and putting flames on it or... Okay, so does he want to does he want to paint the guitar? Or does he want to relic it out? But it's a guitar that you bought him, right? Pardon? It's a guitar that you bought him. Yes. So it's priceless. Pretty much yes, because I want my son is totally about guitar hero. He just doesn't have the hand coordination yet to play one. And I want it to be passed down to him. To your son. Yes. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to help you out, okay? Okay. But you got to promise me one thing. Yes, sir. This is the last fucking handout he gets. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir, I do. Do you understand the situation you're in? Yes, I do. You do? Yeah. What kind of situation? What you I'm got? Let me explain my it. Husband. Okay, I know that's your husband. But I'm just going to tell you straight out, Katie. If he's your husband, then he should be loving you like you love him. That's great that he watches all my videos, and I'm glad and all that. But I make videos for one reason. First of all, I don't make no money on my videos. I know you don't. I don't make a nickel. Do you know how long it takes no. to make them videos? That's a long time because you edit them on every day. You're damn right. Let me explain my story, okay? Okay, go ahead. And then maybe you can look at your husband... And say, if you're going to get motivation, you need to get off your ass and do something. Are you afraid that uh, he's going to get mad at you or something if you talk to him that way? He does get mad. I yell, I scream, I cry, I've done everything. Okay, listen. I get up at 4.30 in the morning, I go to work. Have you seen my videos with Trevor in them, part-time Trevor? Uh, yeah, look here, he's great. Do you know I've been watching him all summer? He's been coming to my shop all summer. So besides, besides, do what, Trevor? You want to come say hi to Katie? Hang on a second. Trevor wants to say hi to you. You're going to have to talk a little loud. No, just say it right here. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Now hang on. I'm going to let you talk to Trevor, all right? Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you about Trevor, okay? Okay. He's 13 years old, and he's got personal problems in his life, too, but he's a little motivator. He gets shit done, and he does, he takes care of himself. Now, I'm going to let you talk to Trevor, okay? Hi, Trevor. How are you? Good. Hey, hey. My name? My name's Katie. Hi, Katie. How do you like working there? Good. It's fun. Have you talked to you a lot? Yeah. I don't want. Yeah, but I don't want to go back to school. I'd rather stay here every day. You're gonna go back to school on Wednesday? No, I don't want to go back to school. I want to stay here every day. I said. Oh, I can understand, man. It's like you learn more there, huh? School's not fun. Yeah. I know. I gotta go back to school next week too. That stinks. So do I. All right, here's Pete. Here's Pete. Give me the phone. Okay, see you, Katie. Bye. Uh, hey, Pete. Hello? Hello. All right, I'm going to be honest with you. All right, I'm going to be honest with you, Katie. Me and Trevor are going to relic that guitar out for your husband. Okay. Okay? How many do I owe you? 
But I'm going to be honest with you. Listen to me. This is what you owe me. This will be the last fucking handout he gets. Can you say okay. that? You hear what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And if he's gonna yes, keep sir. if he's gonna keep getting free handouts and freebies, this and some guy coming from New York and this guy comes from there, then I I appreciate if he just doesn't watch my videos. Yeah, he just he's. Because I'm gonna fine. tell you right now, I I put videos up there to help people, whether it's whether it's to teach them how to sand a fucking fender, or whether it's are they or they get some uh, attitude responsibility out of it, like. You're telling me your husband's getting. Yeah, yes. Okay. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you my address. Tommy, all we have to do is talk if he gets up. That's why I heard Did you hear what Trevor said? Hold on, let me go get some paper. Did you hear what Trevor said? No, but it's what he said. Tell her, bud. If if he gets up easily, he might. And he, if he keeps doing it, he, he's gonna get. He's gonna. If he doesn't more, he's just gonna keep doing it a lot. So it might be easy if he just gets up and probably moves around kind of a lot. And that's what mostly sometimes if he gets up, he'll he'll mostly sit down. But if he moves around a lot, it, it should help kind of. Basically, what he's saying is the only way we're gonna do it is if he gets up and starts moving around. Right. Exactly. So, but what kind of guarantee do I got of that, Katie? What, I mean, it sounds to me like you're a codependent and you're just going to keep on going and keep up, keep it up. I just, I, I can't do it anymore. I've got too many other people to take care of. I take care of my mom now. I have a 40-acre farm I have to take over. I have my 9-year-old son plus my education. He's got to start doing stuff on his own. I can't do it anymore. Yeah. Well, until you until you look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you can't do it, you won't be able to do it. Does that make sense? Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and help you on this guitar. Okay, you won't have to pay me nothing. I'll pay you. I have no problem. But I'm telling you now. If he's gonna continue to sit there and watch TV, uh, watch videos all day long, and be a burden on your shoulder. I really don't want to do it, Katie. I really don't. When are you going to get the No, I want, I want him to live. I want him... Of course yeah. you want him to live, because that's the father of your child, Katie. I want him to go old and sit on a porch with me. But you can't continue to be his codependent. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Right, you I'll tell you what, Katie. I'm going to go ahead and do it, because I'm your friend, Pete, just like everybody else's, okay? But you better remember one thing. Codependent is over. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He is not going to get off his lazy ass unless you let him do it by himself. Yes, sir. Okay, what's it going to take for someone like you to realize that the only person that's really hurting here is yourself? You go to bed probably at night crying. You wake up night crying. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. You look at your little kid there, and you're probably feeling sorry for him, too, while you're at it. A little bit. Remember this saying, and remember it good. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, and to change the things I can. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Have you ever heard that before? Yes. Have you ever said it to yourself? No. Have you ever used it before? No. Okay, well, maybe you should write that down while you're writing down my address. Okay? I will. I will. And every day that you wake up, you say that to yourself, and you say it throughout the day. And you think of everything that you can't change yourself and the things that you can change. Please stop being me. Like you said you were going to school, right? Yes. Okay. Instead of talking about bettering your family, why don't you talk about bettering yourself? And I'm trying. That's what I'm saying. You're not going to school for your husband. You're going to school for yourself. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes. You can't change your husband. He has to do that on his own. All you can do is sit there and guide him through it and give him courage and strength. Okay? Yes. But you can change yourself. 
Do you, am I making sense here? I'm not trying to be. I'm not trying to be your psychiatrist. I'm not trying to be a preacher. I'm not trying to be, you know, somebody that's trying to tell you what to do in life. I'm just trying to, you know, pass on some experience of my life. Do you think that I'm? You think I'm where I'm at because, uh, because I just happen to be here? I worked my ass off all my life. I work seven days a week. Okay. You need to get your husband off his ass and get him to do something. And if that means and if that means saying, No, I'm not doing that for you, no, I don't care about your guitar. We need to go pawn your guitar. No, you uh, I don't care about the Honda, la la la. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Okay. Now enough uh, preaching. Okay, you get it in uh, the mail, UPS. And uh we'll see what we can do, okay? You need to brighten up a little bit. You sound like uh you sound like a really nice person, Katie. Yeah. Well start taking care of yourself first. You're number one in your life, not anybody else but yourself. Because if you can't be number one, nobody else can. You're right. I gotta go. Okay. Hang on a minute. You wanna say goodbye to her, Trevor? Bye. Bye, Trevor. Alright, we'll see you later. So the situation we have is self-explanatory. You just heard it. So I guess my friend P is going to go ahead and help the guy out. I really don't want to, but I'm going to.